Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly show you how the Animate Textures plugin for Dust Studio works. And I have just a simple scene here with the, with the two poles. And really the only lighting going on here is two simple point lights uh, to simulate the uh, the uh, light or il illumination going on from the water or the pools and those are just some simple plain primitives water and I, I've bought a nice looking water sequence that I mean it's just a simple water sequence and I've made another one where I just increased the contrast and I made it like dark looking so I wanted to use this to add to the walls and columns to add this like of you know water of reflection scattering going on and here's how easy this plugin is to use and, and just ignore this name picture in picture because it's renamed to animated textures but it says picture in picture here so I'm just selecting all the surfaces one by one and I'm going to the ambient channel because I, I want the water reflection to illuminate the uh, the structure, the, the walls and, and the and the, uh, the columns. So I'm adding that to the strength channel, and I'm just simply just make sure the frame first frame. Okay, I'm just simply selecting just find that test water there it is so I'm just selecting the first sequence and it's added to the ambient channel so it's not going to show right now and I'm just Yeah, I'm just repeating that with all of the surfaces. Just selecting the, the same one here. No, no. Not name water, water scatter. And I didn't have that one there. I actually did um, a small mistake here. I was supposed to select uh, water scatter. So let me just try that again. Water scatter. <clears throat> and just repeat that for all of them. Water scatter. And water scatter. And <clears throat> for the floor, uh, since the floor really doesn't have any lighting hitting, uh, I want the floor to be slightly darker, so I kind of, as you can see here, lower the ambient to 50 rather than 100. So, water scatter, and the roof is going to have water scatter as well. Terrace. Um, water scatter and the ball, same thing like that. And for the water surfaces, I I want them to, to look like water uh, in the first place. So I'm selecting. I actually have this in the list, but let me just show you. I'm selecting the first frame of the water sequence, and then. It's 
uh, well, they're looking like water. And then I'm also adding the same texture to the opacity channel because that's going to make the water semi-transparent as you can see we can see the bottom and with that we are done I mean this is how simple this is I'm just assigning the first frame of the uh, sequences and the camera motion is already pretty down So, uh, some scrolling and allowing some loading. I'm seeing some water movement. And at each frame, I can basically, let me just adjust the settings here. At each frame, I can just make a quick render by clicking here, render current frame. So that's going to render my frame and show how it looks like. And as you can see, we are having, oops, we are, ha <clears throat> we are having the water and we are having the water reflections onto the walls. So that's the effect I, that's how simple this is. I'm just applying the same texture to the entire structure. And that's all I did. I it took like a few minutes, and I'm done. And obviously, this, this uh, can can be used for um, I mean explosions, gunfire, TV screens, holograms. I mean basically every integration of live footage. So so this is meant as an animation. And the animation can be seen on my YouTube channel as well. And that's about it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.